night it is 1 30 on a saturday afternoon we're just driving through downtown la we're going on about a two hour drive my daughter and i who is thrilled about being filmed and we are headed up to shoot some rabbits we're going to do a uh, hunt clean and cook video today stay with us all right Lindsay and i made it to our spot I'm not a huge rabbit hunter, but I love to hunt rabbits because we all love to eat rabbits. Uh, some of the pieces of the puzzle are rabbits love man-made structure. They absolutely love all the brush and briars and brambles and all that tight country they love because it keeps them safe. So we're gonna uh, we're gonna be chasing them with a small caliber rifle today. This is just a little 22 mag, and we're gonna go for a walk and hopefully be able to film it. We're looking to head shoot these rabbits because we're eating them. It's hot and miserable and we're excited. You can see all the tracks from these rabbits that love the bottom of these washes. They lay up in this salt cedar and they're pretty easy to track. All right, we shot three rabbits quick, and I want to get the hide and the guts out of these uh, fast. The easiest way to do it, in my opinion, is just take a pinch in the middle of that rabbit's back and then make a little cut. And then you're pretty much done with your knife. Just pull him in two sections, like you're pulling off his pants and you're pulling off his shirt. <laughs> do you want me to zoom in? You do on, on the next one. Okay. You're just going to make a small cut. Sometimes it's easiest to start up at the rib cage. That way you're not going to break anything. You know, in that Pixar short film, when they shaved the lamb, mm -hmm. that's what his legs look like right now. Oh, yeah. yeah. Up here is the esophagus where it connects. I kind of just tore that open and just pull all those guts right out. I like to take and snap the leg. And then if you take your knife, then you're just having to cut a little bit of meat. Or you can kind of set the rabbit down and do it. All right. That last part when you tore its guts open, tell me when you're going to do that so I can film it on my phone because that yeah, was last, crazy. Last, last one, we're going to do it full speed. We're actually going to take this one, the whole front of that rabbit off. It's a pretty young rabbit right here. If you do this fresh, this hide just comes off literally like you're taking the wrapper off candy. Is that a bad rabbit? Yes. <laughs> The, like you're taking the sleeve off a of Slim Jim. <laughs> okay, so the legs, snap them. And then just cut the meat. Well, these taste good. There are. So this is up by his throat. I'm just going to make a little mix so I can open it up. So his bottom legs, this is up by his chest. I'm just gonna open it up here. Whoops. <laughs> so there's the liver, there's the guts. Let me just pull all that out. Little turd sacks. There's three cleaned rabbits. I'm gonna put them right down in the saltwater brine. I'm going to let Lindsay get her soda out of there first. Thanks. <laughs> I'll have my bunny soda later. Right. 
drop those rabbits down there and they'll start to they'll start to cool them down and uh, by the time we get home they'll be pure white they'll have all the guck off them and they'll be ready to eat the last two of our five rabbit limit. You're allowed five a day in California, a 10 possession limit. Uh, we're gonna, we went for a big walk, let the sun come down and the rabbits just came out. So we're gonna clean them up. And the next thing you'll see is us making lunch. Our rabbit eater. Thanks for watching. That's not comfortable for me. Here's my blood gloves. Do you need something to drink? You good? There's stuff in here. Not interested now? Okay. Let's go. No, I'm not interested now. Let's go. Some sand on my back. <clears throat> <clears throat> Hey y'all, we just got back from our hunt. Lindsay and I got back late last night around midnight and we woke up at four this morning and went fishing because we're hardcore. And uh, we just woke up from a little nap and I wanna deal with these rabbits. So if you can hear this, that slushy, icy, salty brine, those rabbits have been in there for all crowding 15 hours. I'm gonna move the camera over and film it, kinda of go in the sink, those rabbits should be almost white. I'm gonna pull them out, give them a good wrench, and then I'm gonna break them down into little pieces. All right, you can see those rabbits are super clean. All of that um, salt water just rinsed them really nice and made them good and firm. It makes it really easy to work with to have a firm meat on the bone. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the back straps, the tenderloins, and a big chunk of the hind quarter off these rabbits and save those for our lunch. And something I started doing just early last year on an accident is I'm going to take all the scraps. You know, a couple of these rabbits were hit a little bit too far forward so the front shoulders are pretty beat up. Um, and all the bones and any little piece of scrap Everything that comes off this rabbit with regard to meat is going to go down in the pressure cooker. I'm going to bring it to 15 pounds of pressure for like 45 minutes. And then when I pull it out, it's going to separate all the meat from the bones. And depending on the texture of that, we're going to eat that or we're actually going to give that to the dog. That's fantastic protein. A lot of the times, it'll actually cook the bone right down to nothing. Makes a great stock. Super healthy for your pets. You will not believe the amount of meat that is gonna show up in that pressure cooker from all those bones. So I cut the meat off the thigh. You saw I just very crudely made a cut so I get my fingers between the leg bone and just pulled off the big chunks of meat. I put the bones and extras right in the power, I don't know why I always say power washer when I mean pressure cooker. Maybe it's because I always say power washer. So I threw all that excess meat in there. It's gonna be a ton of meat. I've got the back straps, the loins, and the thigh chunks that I want. I've got at least three meals there out of five rabbits for Lindsay, my daughter, and my wife and I. So I'm gonna just take the best of the best. I'm gonna put it aside. And then I think I'll just do a little bit of the thigh meat. I'll show you how I do it. The key with kids, no surprises in your meat. No tendons, no dark marks nothing. Cut it off. If you're worried about it, put it in that pressure cooker, feed it to the dog. Make sure that meat is pristine. So I'm just going to season it, salt and pepper, Lowry's, Tony Sashery's, whatever you got. It doesn't matter. And we're going to brown it up in a bunch of butter. And because I've had it in the brine, it's going to, it's going to get rid of a bunch of water. It's going to create its own sauce. And I'll show you as we get going.
So you can see how much moisture is coming out of that rabbit because it was in the brine and I've just rinsed and washed and rinsed and washed. I kind of like that. So once it's all kind of colored up white and it's starting to look like it's cooked through, then I'm gonna cover this and just steam it, steam it, steam it. I'm gonna steam it to where this is reduced down to nothing and it starts to get brown bits on the end. Honestly, this just has the best smell. It smells like garlic and lowries and butter and that's a wonderful thing. So I'm gonna let that go. Make sure you're cleaning your coolers because I'm putting raw game meat in these. It's important that I, I take this out and I power wash all the blood off it. I get it clean with soap and water and then I fill it with a little bit of Clorox bleach and water mixture. I cover it and then, uh, then I dump it and I just let it air out that way. And uh, I've never had any issues, but I love this cooler. Or I love these coolers just to put meat in and travel. They're completely waterproof. Travel on planes with these. Okay, we'll just let it do its thing. Processed rabbit meat, boneless, for the dog. This is what I didn't get clean. That's mostly bones. Here's a few super clean bones. Just kind of neat. I'll use in a degreasing video. <clears throat> in short, take your kids out, shoot some rabbits. <laughs> 